fucking deal, YouTube. This your boy Dante Sports Talk live stream. Thank y'all all for tuning into my live, man. My live, uh, like I said, uh, I was just live a few minutes ago. I won Court Conquer. Shout out to my boy Jalen, my main boy, my main guy, Jalen Elite Stretch, aka Elite Stretch. My boy Jalen. Shout out to my boy Kilo. Shout out to my boy Jerome. My boy Wilson. Shout out to True Lane. Shout out to that new sub, to the new sub, uh, Alexis Johnson. Shout out to you. Shout out to Princess Fane. Shout out to, you know, uh, shout out to Chanel. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to Miss Queen. Let's get right into the motherfucking video, man. Uh, Russell Westbrook and the Rockets are interested in trading for Russell Westbrook. Uh, they talked to uh, the, the his agent, him and his agent talked about to OKC. Uh, management sound pressed about the future and it's not looking so good. So we're going to see what happens uh, with that. Uh, but. I want to get into, uh, I'm going to start keeping my series going or reviewing teams, you know, uh, this review. Uh, how teams, was it a successful season for these teams or was it a failure for these teams? Uh, this team I'm looking at, uh, they were pretty bad last year. I didn't think they improved at all. I thought um, their coach was fired, uh, Fred Hoiberg, uh, after a 20, after a 5-19 and uh, 19 start. And y'all know this team is the 2019 Chicago Bulls. I didn't think they made any improvements at all. They finished uh twenty two and sixty. Um they they wasn't very good. They they finished the season with Jim Boylan as the uh uh sixteen head coach as a uh, interim head coach. He went he finished seventeen and forty one. They were not good at all. Uh guard guard uh foreman guard foreman was the uh executive. They they averaged a hundred and four points per game. Uh that that's twenty seven out of thirty teams. That was just terrible they didn't they really didn't stop anybody on defense they they gave up 113 points per game that's 20 out of 30 i guess you could say they were um suspect on defense uh pace of play they was um uh, that was uh 19th in pace of play offensive rating was 104.8 defensive rating was atrocious um 113 um 113 113 in defensive efficiency and defensive rating. Uh, that's um, bad. That's terrible. They were 25th in the league. Uh, they gave up. Uh, they they gave they uh, traded for Otto Porter at the beginning. Uh, at the end of the season, Otto Porter came in and gave him a little spark uh, off the bench. Uh, in the starting lineup, uh, Zach Levine uh, rejuvenated his uh, year last year. He had a pretty good season. Uh, Lowry Marketing came back after a successful rookie season. Uh, Bobby Portis after punching Nikola Miritich in his face, he got he was end up traded to Washington. Uh, Javari Parker, who they signed on a two year thirty million dollar deal, did not work out. He was end up being benched and not playing and out of the rotation. His defense was garbage. Um, to me, the team MVP I would give it to Zach Levine. I liked the way Zach Levine was playing. Was really playing. Zach Levine was pretty good. He was consistent all year for the Chicago Bulls. They end up trading Justin Holiday, who I thought was pretty good and pretty consistent. Uh, averaged 11.6 points per game. I thought he was traded to Memphis. Zach Levine averaged 23.7 points. So after that, con he got that contract. He pretty much stepped up. He pretty much had a, a healthy year. Um, Otto Porter averaged 17 points per game. Uh, you got, that's no, this is Laurie Marketing. Laurie Marketing averaged 18 points, 8 points per game. So he was very, he was very, very good. Uh, Chris Dunn. Uh, I'm hearing rumors about him getting traded or released. He averaged 11 points per game. He has not been the answer for uh, the Chicago Bulls. Wendell Carter, a nice season, 10 points. Nice season, nice rookie season, 10 points per game. 10 points per game, six, um, 10 points um, per game, 10.3 points per game. My bad, y'all. Um, Wendell Carter Jr. shot 48% from uh, the field. Um, and um, also... He had a good, pretty good blocks uh, defensive uh, season. Uh, Bobby Portis, 14 points per game before he uh, got traded. Uh, Robin Lopez, in and out of the rotation. He averaged um, 9.5 points per game. Challenge Hutchinson, I really like Challenge Hutchinson. I think Challenge Hutchinson is going to be a good rookie, a good player. Uh, I watched him at Boise State. I thought he was very, very good. Challenge Hutchinson was one of my favorite players coming out of the draft. I thought he was inconsistent, but I think he's going to get better. He averaged 5.2 points per game. Uh, they wasn't in a, a lot of games last year. Uh, I thought they was competitive in some way, but I, I didn't think they built on the season that they had uh, the year before. I thought they 
really had a terrible season. I didn't think they made too many improvements. Uh, Fred Hoiberg doesn't have control of a seem to have control of any type of locker rooms at all. After Jimmy Butler calling him out um, uh, repeatedly multiple times, they also traded for Wayne Selden. They also traded for him. They also traded for Timothy. Um, uh, whatever Timothy, whatever I don't know how to say his name. They also got Cameron Payne. They also get Antonio Blakeney, who I thought they, they didn't play too much. But right now, Chicago Bulls, uh, they end up getting, I think, Cam Reddish in the NBA draft. I don't know what rookie they ended up getting, uh, but they end up getting a good rookie. So like I said, man, Chicago Bulls, I didn't feel like they improved. I thought this season was a failure. I didn't think they improved um, at all. I thought Chris Dunn, uh, I thought this would be a nice spot for Chris Dunn to come play, to able to solidify, to show that he could be a starting point guard. He has not proven that. I thought Zach Levine recovered mightily from his uh, injury, his ACL injury in Chicago. I thought Lauren Marketing stepped out after the injury. I thought he, he was very good, but my team MVP goes to uh, Zach Levine, averaging 23.20 points per game, 23.7 points per game. They finished uh, 22 and 60. They were terrible on the defensive side of the basketball. They were uh, terrible, definitely on the offensive side of the basketball. They was they was uh, stink. They were garbage. They averaged 104.9 points per game. They was they were they was terrible. Uh, the pace of play, they wasn't a fast paced team. They they were 19. They were um uh, they they gave up 113 points per game. They were 20th. Uh, I didn't think the Bulls improved. I thought the Bulls were really gonna have a a good pretty much a good season, not a playoff season, but I thought they were gonna improve dramatically. So uh Bulls fans, let me know y'all comment, like, and subscribe on this um video. Let me know what you guys thought, how y'all got what y'all guys thought of y'all drop picks. What do the Bulls need to improve on coming into this season? Um like I said, uh they I think they, they picked up a good player too. They picked up a good player in the offseason. I thought I forgot who they picked up. Forgot who they picked up too in the offseason. Uh, I for, really forgot. Y'all let me know who they picked up in the free agency too. They picked up somebody that's very, very good. One a, a good player too. I, I just forgot about that. So comment, like, and subscribe, Chicago. Uh, what you guys thought about y'all season last year and what y'all guys need to improve on going into this season. More videos to come. Uh, we're doing the non-playoff teams first, and then we're going to do the playoff teams and the uh, NBA Finals champions. Uh, Toronto Raptors. Then we're going to shift to the West. Comment, like, and subscribe. Shout out to that new sub, Alexis Johnson. Shout out to Princess Fane. Shout out to my boy, Jerron the King. My boy, Wilson. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to boy, my guys, uh, Jalen and uh, Kilo. We won Core Conquer. Thank you, guys. I'm out. Comment, like, and subscribe. I'm out. Peace. One love. Be back with more.